Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Femi XA SE 2020 drone that I have right here. This one released in 2020 and, the, and from the Femi company, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the drone and seeing how good it does in 2022, uh, 2021. So, 2021, but it's almost going to be 2022, so I guess it's 2022, but I'm, today I'm, going to be, I'm going to be showing you guys, it's not a full review because I just had it for about a couple hours, it's going to be like impressions of the drone and what it can do. I've, I've flown it a little bit, just around here. And today I'm showing you guys how it actually does in the performance wise and also for like the camera and other stuff like that. So without further ado, let's go into the new review. Okay, so let's start off with the price, which I think this is a great price for the budget drone. Um, other drones are about 700, 800, 900 bucks, so that's pretty big of price. But this one is about 500, so I think it's a pretty good price for like what you get. Like pretty much like a budget phone, but this thing is extremely good for the price. I think excellent deal if you can get like off discount for like the holidays or something like that it'll be even better since it'll be like 430 on bnh so i saw that one so it's gonna be actually pretty good for like getting just a budget drone and other stuff like that so it's gonna be really cool like the price is excellent and i and i think this drone this drone only comes in the white color not anything like black or like space gray so it just comes in the white you will guys see like some stains on it if you fly it a little bit too much like with the dust kicking and everything so you have to clean it regularly just to get a nice white color just keep in mind that so overall it's pretty clean also so pretty cool too um the as for the range this thing supports up to six miles or eight kilometers which is pretty cool which i don't know that's kind of far without seeing your drone uh you have to like fly the eight kilometers and come back very quickly since the battery might die but i think it's actually pretty cool and the and then the, the drone does fall um and you know really and because the battery died you don't know where it is you can track it on google maps since this thing has also a gps tracker that you can actually use for your Google Maps, so you can see where the drone fell, um, and then you can eat, and you, then you just go look and look for it. So that's pretty cool too. So you can see where the where the drone fell, um, and it also has Google Maps active tracking, so that's pretty cool too. So you have that, and at the at the distance of eight kilometers, that's pretty cool. If you're doing like going like doing like this cool recording of like the entire stuff that you need, like the city or something like that. But I don't really think that's not necessary. Maybe like a mile. Uh, that's like maybe the top. I ever use it and then that's about it Not nah, nothing like a commerce is not gonna happen but that's what you can do too so that's pretty cool but that's extremely cool that this thing has in case you want to try it out for yourself that does have it um now for the flying how good is it how, how is it how easy is it is this drone to fly i think it's pretty good too once you the first time you, you um fly it kind of nervous you know you have to get used to the controls and everything uh this, this is actually the controller here so you you you, you fold the antennas like this so that's how the controller is going to come you unfold them like this and you turn them and you can adjust them to however you want you can adjust them like this or like that or it depends where you can you can, you can even add range extenders on these to increase the range also so you have like like this this one is for um taking for like the pan this one is for taking photos for taking video this one is for i don't i don't remember which one is this but it's, it's also it's like a custom button i think and you and here you have your con control sticks right here joysticks so for taking off to to um get the propellers moving you um you take the left joystick down and just keep on the ground then you once the propellers get moving you start taking off with the right like this and it starts going up in the air from here you can move it from left to right down to bottom and from here you can yeah, from the left one you can move it from up or down so if you're gonna go down and land it you just go like this right here bring it down like this and the drone will land like that just be extremely careful when landing it because just if you're landing on concrete um it can break off a piece and you can also get um, repairs, but it's kind of expensive too. So you just have to be aware of that. Be careful when landing it. But once you start, once you start um, maneuvering it, it's pretty cool. Kind of, you, you gotta get confidence in the first five or, or, or four, four or five um, drone, like flying the drone, because it's very, very scary at first. But once you get confidence, you can go on speed mode. Um, there's sports mode, which goes up to 18 meters a second, to, which that will burn through your battery life a lot. But it's pretty cool. There is you can you can you can go three meters a second which which was pretty cool for like beginners that's what you should try out first so you can get the um taste of the drone um but and but once you get like after your six times you know you get confidence you can go fly it around crazy and just land it and stuff like that so that's gonna be really cool for and and for flying the drone so the use of flying is pretty cool um the controller is pretty slick too you can you, you can expand it to put a tablet or at your phone also connected here to i think you charge here through mini H with through mini um through usb and then from here you can connect it to your phone right here through usb to any adapter you want um you can also have custom buttons so for so here you can have it this is for like flying for landing it but if you don't you don't know where your drone is the drone will automatically come back when you switch it to the home mode to well, automatically come back where you took off so make sure when you take off you will you have tons of headroom or else the drone you don't have tons of headroom headroom 
the room will come off like on a roof and it will be stuck. Um, also, if you, if, you, if you press if you press this button and this one right here, the drone will stop will stop moving the propellers and will just fall to the ground wherever it is. So that's some shortcuts there. There's also many shortcuts um, that you can find out also. So that's about it for the controller. It's pretty cool. You, and you can just fold it down like this when you're done. And then go like this, you put it aside. That's pretty cool. As for the drone, um, when, you, when you have tons of wind like right now, the stability is actually pretty good. Just make sure it's um, it's it's pretty stable. But sometimes you can you can get kind of messed up when when shooting a video, or like a or like a picture, just something standing still. Um, and so like we want to get a picture, the wind might just kind of move it a little bit, so something may come blurry. Um, don't worry about it. Just make sure it, just fly. Try to fly it when it's not that windy outside. Um, this one's also waterproof. It's rain. It's rainproof. Fumi has has rated it for about twenty minutes. So whenever you're, whenever you're in the rain, just be careful. You can fly it around; it'll be fine. But just make sure that you don't fly for more than twenty minutes, or else it will it will it will stop working. Just be aware of that. So just to, so that's about it. That's about it for like the rain seals. It's pretty good sealed. I think it's IPX seven, so that's pretty cool too. Yeah, you have your on up button right here. Um, then here's your propellers. These are pretty cool. Um, what the only thing I don't like about it is that it comes in the white color, which is kind of annoying. I would much want it to like in something like a black, so it doesn't get as much use. Like you know not as much um what was it not as much like dirty but still pretty good overall it is actually really cool um and so that's about it for the color it's pretty good i like it a lot now for the image quality uh, i think it's very good i think it's fine a little bit over sharpened in 4k kind of looks like kind of iphone footage when it's when it's like it's over sharpened a little bit but it's not that's easily fixable in post and when you're editing you can just bring down the sharpness it'll look like any professional camera um, since since professional cameras don't have that much sharpness, this one does a little bit over sharpen in 4K video. 1080p looks a little bit soft, so just stay away from 1080p. Um, but, so this one looks over, the, the frame rates for 4K are 24, 25, and 30. Pretty good. Which was 4K 60 for a little bit more smoother shots. That's that's not a big deal. Um, as for the fall sizes per second, it's a hundred it's a hundred megabytes per once per second. So that's a little bit. See, shoot 60. That's about six gigabytes. I think it's 100 megabytes per minute or something like that. I think it's I think it's 100 megabytes per second. Pretty sure that's pretty big file sizes. So um, I think it's something like that. It could be the way. Just when you, once you get the drone, you can find out for yourself. But um, the file sizes are pretty big too, so just be aware of that. They're like a 128 gigabyte card or 256. But overall, I think it'll be fine with this drone when you have it in hand. I think it's pretty good and kind of like it a lot. The camera, you can see the gimbal here adjusts when when you're moving it like that, so you can get steady footage wherever you're going. So you go like this, the, the gimbal will automatically just just um, adjust to where you're doing, so that you can get steady footage everywhere you're going, which is pretty good. Um, you, you can you have different yeah you, you for the color it's pretty good too I said over sharpening a little bit but it's easy, easily fixable in post you have 4K um, video with HDR support and you can also shoot 12 megapixel photos by 4 by 3 aspect ratio which is kind of weird um, with an HDR two which is 16 by 9 so you can get those nice um, wide shots of the scenery or something like that but it's not a big deal you can shoot 8 megapixel photos also with 16 by 9 which was a 16 by 9 option but there isn't which is kind of sad because I kind of like 16 by 9 better than 4 by 3. But hey, it's fine. Um, the drone looks itself looks pretty slick, as you can see here. The color looks pretty good. The image, the camera, the gimbal is pretty good. One thing I don't like about it is that the gimbal projector it's just a piece of foam that, and the gimbal still sticks out. It's like, what's the point of that? Just get you, you get just like some lens protection um, on it. So this drone is not mine. Somebody is lending me it for a day. Just very excellent. They they teach they taught me how to fly it. So that's about it. It's not a review. I make that very really clear. It's just like my impressions or like how I think the drone will handle it. And I actually seen the video footage um, rendered. I, I've exported it and it looks pretty slick. So this is not my review. And a review would have been if I tested it for one week or more. So just makes that very clear. I'm also gonna review a Sony camera, a, a the A6600. Um, for, uh, that can come out in a few in a few more days from this, so just be aware of that. So it's not review, just gonna make that extremely clear for you guys. Um, so the, the this has 4K shares, as I said before. Also has um, also has these in color profiles. So you have sunny, cloudy, auto, shadow, fl fluorescent, and in incandescent, incandescent, I think. Um, as for the color profiles, so you have vivid, um, black and white, and the F log, which is also available for video. This is Femi's um, F, like uh, color profile or like just the colors that it's easier in editing and post. You still got that sharpness or a little bit more sharpness with that one, but still fe easily fixable in post, and it can make it looks easily excellent. So that's pretty good. Um, I like the drone a lot. It looks pretty slick. Right here, you can see it. You, you have this thing right here. It's not a sensor. 
it's just for looks. This doesn't have any fall detection or like object, object detection at all. That's for like the higher price models. But this is just for like looks. It looks pretty cool, like a little stormtrooper visor or something like that. Um, but overall, I think this probably, this should have been a little bit better. So I wish this was an actual, <laughs> I wish it was an actual sensor for, for let's say like fall, like, like object detection, but it's not sad. But overall, I think it's pretty cool. The drone is pretty good right here. It's pretty hefty, just like probably like two, three pounds, pretty hefty. Um, but it's pretty sturdy too, sturdily built. Um, and oh, I think it's pretty good. Nice sensor. Wish it was. Um, so that the gimbal protection isn't as good either. That's my biggest gripe against it. The that's just not as good. But hey, the gimbal does work pretty well here. Um, right now it's off, so you can you can see it rotating right here. It's pretty cool too. And also, before you go and shoot it, just make sure you wipe the the actual sensor so that there's no fingerprint stains on it. Like I just touched it right now, so make sure you gotta wipe that. But well, I think the the image the image is pretty good. You just gotta edit it a little bit when you're you got you just gotta color correct it, edit it, um, and also you can adjust your brightness, your ISO, your aperture, and your white balance just from the camera. So um, from the from the, from the settings in the app for the drone for him for the film app. So that's pretty cool. So that you have you have tons of customizability on the on on the on the app. So you can you can do on custom commands on the controller here, which is pretty cool. So it's the controller right here. It's pretty cool. You can do custom commands um and and that's pretty cool too as for that as for the flying time um uh, theme race this for 35 minutes which is great so some drones have one hour but this is still pretty good uh you're just standing hovering around just moving super slowly you will get like at least at 45 minutes an hour battery life which is better um but if you start using it in sport mode which is which it goes up to 18 meters a second you'll easily burn through the battery life a lot since so going super fast and it's just it's just going extremely fast for this battery life so that's about it. So that's 35 minutes of battery. Um, and I think when you're using it like like in sport mode, it'll probably burn through, it'll be at least 20 minutes of battery life. So a little bit lower, but if you're using it just like once in a while or like just going around hovering it, take a nice pan of the photo, it'll last at least 45 minutes, it's not a big deal. Um, so you just have to make sure that your battery is charged well. And I, when, it, when it's at 20%, it'll just start um, giving you signals of how the battery, how low the battery is. And it'll try, uh, and it'll just tell you, and it'll just try to limit the speed and other stuff like that. So it just have like safety warnings of the battery too, but it doesn't have object, object detection, which is kind of sad. But I think this is actually a pretty good upgrade. Um, now with it, now it's just um, it's a pretty good upgrade here. Drone is hefty. It's really nice. You get, you get your gimbal here. That it, it's like stabilization right here. You get your rubber feet. You can also add extra extra long feet so when you have one of one of falls just like this, and so it doesn't um spin up any dust that can affect the drone. So that's pretty cool too. So you have that right there, and it's much better since I think you can when it lands, it lands you get the rubber feet, so the impact is much more. It, it's it's just solely on the rubber feet and not on the overall shape of the device, which is much better. So I overall I think this drone is pretty cool. It's five hundred bucks or five hundred forty five on the Amazon, so it's pretty good. Um, it looks really nice. The model looks good. Only thing I wish this was a sensor. It's not. It's just for looks. Just knowing that you have your battery here back here, you can actually detach it. Um, if I can detach it here. This is your battery right here. Actually, I want to dash it, but you, you press these right here on either side and you, and you can take out the battery. And you can also switch out the propellers. And from eBay, you can buy replacement parts if you crash it. Um, but overall, I think this drone is pretty good. Excellent, you should, I recommend it. It's easy to fly. It's 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 a budget drone because drones are pretty expensive. Um, and overall, I think this drone is pretty good. So that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video.